Hello everyone, um, this is my first video on the channel, my first unboxing video, and we're doing one on tarantula cribs. I ordered a small slider tarantula cribs uh, from tarantulacribs.com, and I'm going to take you all the way from the unboxing to setting up and decorating the enclosure, so stay tuned. Tarantulacribs.com, this is my first time doing an unboxing video. I've never done an unboxing video. Uh, this should be the small slider crib. magnets so just that's nice that sounds satisfying good ventilation very clean holes I don't know if you can see that or not that's hard to do very well made tarantula cribs you should buy one for sure and we'll do a housing video next of what we decide to do with it and how to decorate it. Okay, let's get started. I started by placing my enclosure in another tub so I won't get substrate everywhere. Now you'll have to find out what your tarantula's needs are. I'm housing a Fusorial Gramostola pulchra who likes to burrow. Make sure you press down and compact the substrate, otherwise it'll collapse when they burrow. I filled my enclosure halfway because of the air holes and it should be plenty. I added water to the substrate to give it more strength. Next I added a hide. I cleaned and washed this piece with water to prevent mites and bacteria. Now you don't have to do this, but I added leaves from a hobby store that I cut to size and added some extra decorations. After you're done with that, I place in some peat moss and some wood chips for aesthetic purposes. This, in my opinion, brings the enclosure to life. My spiderling is big enough it can benefit from a water dish. I created my own by designing it on a CAD program and 3D printing it. You can use a bottle cap, a shell, or if your sling is too small, just carefully pour water in one corner. Okay, once your enclosure is done, time to move your new tarantula into its new home. I'm not gonna lie, as a novice tarantula owner, this part is nerve wracking. If your tarantula has burrowed itself in its previous home, carefully dig it out. You may feel bad for destroying its home, but you're about to give it a brand new one, so don't worry. I suggest you get a soft bristle paintbrush to help move your tarantula in the direction you want it to move. Be patient and very gentle. The sling may try to dart or reburrow itself, so be ready. And there you go, completely finished. Uh, if you're completely new to the hobby, all of this is probably a little overwhelming. So uh, rehousing can be stressful, but it gets easier with practice. Just uh, give your sling a few days to settle in and it'll be a happy camper. Um, again, if you're new to the hobby, just do a bunch of research, ask questions, and join Facebook groups, and overall just to have fun. This is my first video for the channel, and I just want to be clear, I'm not an expert, I'm, I'm not someone who is going to be telling you this is how you do it, but I'm just sharing my journey, uh, the things that I've learned, and the processes that um, have worked for me. And again, if you have suggestions, comments, or if I'm doing something completely wrong, I'm just not aware of it. Again, I am new, so just let me know down in the comments um, and point me in the right direction. Again, I'd like to give a big shout out to Tarantula Cribs. They, their enclosures are amazing. They're high quality, plenty of good air ventilation, and uh, they're super affordable. So go check them out at tarantulacribs.com. And the one I got, again, was the Slider Crib. I think it was around $40 with some packs. Uh, 
And again, thank you so much for watching. This is the first video on the channel and I really appreciate you. So just uh, subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time.